All right, so I noticed I had an acid rain event going on while I was trying to build arenas outside of recording. And I want to record this, the acid rain event, because there's a really good item I can get from there. And I was recommended by another YouTuber's video, um, Obelisk. And Obelisk said that this weapon is OP, and I tried it myself, and it is. So I'm going to go to that event and try to um, I'm gonna try to get that because I th I'm pretty sure it might overpower these other weapons I have. Oh, by the way, while I was gone, also I got this summon I crafted from um, Hellstone and Lava Buckets to pair with my uh, Imp Staff. And this weapon, the Eviscerator, is a weapon drop from the Perforators we defeated last episode. And it has high base damage, but it's very slow. So I might just use um, the Molten Bow instead. And also the Yo-Yo is still doing great. And if you can see, we, I just passed some buildings for a pylon. So yeah, I set up a pylon here so I can get to this side of the world faster. I just forgot to use it at this second because I got excited. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. We're nearing the acid rain. Okay. Let me grab my molten bow because I want to use this and my yo-yo. Is this what I'm looking for? Sophiric scales? This is what I want. I'll try to get on this island real quick. Um, also, again, I was supposed to work out today with my friend, but I guess he got sick or whatever. Again, <laughs> seems a little hard to believe, you know, but, you know, you can't really do anything about it, so. Also, my girlfriend has uh, her family coming over for the summer. So I haven't been able to spend as much time with her, but I do plan on doing something with her after this week is over, because I think that's when her family will be moving back to Ohio. And I know Ohio doesn't exist, but you know, you gotta entertain the thoughts, you know, for her, because she thinks it exists. It's really just one big hole in the ground, you know, Ohio isn't, isn't, isn't real. But you gotta keep up the fantasy for some people. Alright, uh... Turn off my map so I can see better. And these sky fins are like really... Their AI is wacky so it's hard to predict their movements. Also, I did change my keybinds, so my healing and my adrenaline and rage should um, be working this time. I didn't have that set up in the last episode, but I did set it up today before recording this. I was actually on a Discord call with my friends, and I was testing out this while they were while we were all talking on Discord, so I can do two things at once and multitask. And while in game, I saw the acid rain started. And I'm like, hey guys, can I call you back in a second? And so, 
I left the Discord call for this because I really want to test out this weapon I'm telling you guys about. Because I really want to see if it actually is as good as, as it's made out to be in Malice Mode still. Because I know it's good in other difficulties, but I want to try it in Malice Mode. Because it might not be as good as it, it seemed to be, but we'll see. I really want to really shred some of these bosses because I'm thinking I don't mind using overpowered weapon in Malice Mode because I think in Malice Mode if you're over prepared it's balanced that way. This Malice Mode is supposed to be hard or they say difficulty is subjective you know. So if you have good skill it's still a little bit on the harder side. So if you have an overpowered weapon, it makes it more balanced in that way. To where your skill doesn't have to be so extreme. But you still need that. You still need a little skill. I think what I need now is acid wood. Um, I don't have a crafting table on me, I don't think. I'll craft it when I get back. I want to finish the Acid Rain event first because I know I was looking on the wiki, the Calamity wiki, and they say that you can summon the Acid Rain again, Acid Rain again, if you beat it once, and if you kill or if you buy like a sulfuric tier item. From an NPC called Midas the Sea King, he will sell it to you after the Acid Rain's done. But the only thing is, is that that NPC is locked behind the giant clan, which we haven't done yet. So I'm not gonna do that now, but we can do that in the future, so I can manually summon the Acid Rain, you know, when it's needed again, like after was after poltergeist and there's another intermediate stage i forget what when that is though it might be after plantera something like that oh no it's after um aquatic scourge so if we fight him first in hard mode we can summon this and um then see if anything that drops from this is good for the mechanical bosses and the brimstone elemental and all that. Alright, we got 57%. Also, I did also get a cat mask, but it looks kind of cursed when I wear it on my character because his hair is so big that it doesn't fit the mask. <laughs> and this looks kind of weird. Is that? I think I have enough scales. I want to grab a little bit more because I saw on the wiki that it was recommended that if I used a flying disc, that that could be useful. And well, the reason that's relevant to me staying here a little bit is if I make, I have extra of these scales, and I make. The rogue armor, the sulfuric armor, like, or just make the headpiece. I can use the headpiece and then use the body pieces of the fossil armor from max damage output. And then if I combine that with the flying disc, that could do a lot of damage against Skeletron. So if this weapon I'm trying to get isn't good enough, then hopefully that other setup will be. So I want to test both of them because I'm curious to see which one does more damage. Uh, oh yeah, also, I no longer have my lava bucket because I used it uh, to craft the Cinder Blossom stuff. So I might have to come back here to break these trees because I don't have an axe on me. Yeah. 
How much skill? We got 27 skills. Also, I do plan on building the Skeletron Arena in this episode. But if not, I'll just build it in another one. So I kind of do want to still fight Queen Bee for fun before Skeletron, even though I don't need to. But I might just beat her afterwards. Alright. Come on. Also, I'm wondering if the flying disc is good for the wall of flesh because that weapon says that when it hits enemies it shoots lasers and I think it can pierce. So if it pierces the hungry on the wall of flesh, will the lasers like hit all the three eyes also as it hits the eyes piercing through the hungry? Now that's that's what I'm wondering about. Also, I did build like a little entrance here into the dungeon and I was thinking that sometimes the old man when he spawns in can spawn in at a weird spot. So I'm thinking I could trap him somewhere so I can have Skeletron spawn exactly where I want him to be. Then I can just run out from either side of the dungeon before the fight starts so I'm not... so I don't ruin the fight by how I position the old man first. Alright, I don't think we beat the event. I wasn't really checking. Um, acid rain? Okay, it says I completed it. I want to see, I want to see more information on this from... Alright, Acid Rain. Okay. Yeah, so I can... So I can craft this. Uh, I might have been wrong about it being sold, but I know I can craft it now with these tiers. Um... Okay. I also have another idea for a potential weapon for Skeletron. I'm a little worried about Skeletron because I really, I just really want to fight him um, and beat him first try. So I do plan on fighting Desert Scourge right now because the reason I want to do that is I did not want to fight him earlier because I believe he's too hard for me to fight him earlier than um now now on top of that i want to upgrade my wooden boomerang to a flame ring because i think that would be really good for hitting skeletron's hands and like being precise with which hand i hit but the thing is is that um I need victory shards to make the enchanted boomerang first, which is the upgrade before the flame ring. You know what? Hold on. I think Desert Scourge might be reworked to be easier, because I don't remember his projectiles being that slow. They should be faster than this. They might have reworked it. Also, I heard someone, Phantasm, that YouTuber, he made a video about being for the worthy master mode with Malice mode on. And he mentioned that, um, with that, there's, I think, Mass mode decreases some of the damage from Malice mode or something, so I don't get one hit, but... Or like, either- or it was reversed, like, for the worthy, 
will we'll kill you in one hit and then malice mode reduces that one hit to less than one hit just something like that so i'm wondering if that works in this too i don't know awesome gonna okay cool uh let me pause it, everything now i need to make well let me see need to make a few things need to make another lava bucket Oh, do I? Oh, I'll just make a strong axe, I guess. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll just make this, I guess. So, I don't really want to go to the lava layer right now. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I can just go to the. Sorry guys, I forgot I have a pylon. <laughs> make a pylon in the underworld, I mean. So I can just go to the underworld and get lava, so I don't need to make an axe. Alright, let me make the enchanted. Why can't I make it? Do I not have victory shards or Did I not open the bag? Also, if my game's laggy, it's probably because it's raining outside. Um, my air, like my internet's been messing up because the rainstorms and lightning. So I really hope that doesn't mess with my recording, because I don't want to have to re-edit stuff. Um, I might be missing an ingredient. I think there's a third part. So I'm going to talk to the guide and see what that ingredient is. Uh, is that gold? Yeah. Alright. Um, I have... Boomerang. Three shards. I didn't open this, that's why. Okay. Alright, now... I deposit all, and then I can go here and craft it. And... Why is it not showing up? I'm just gonna craft more gold, because... Or maybe, yeah, I can, I have enough platinum. I think I sold all my gold. Okay. Here we go, enchanted boomerang. Now, I should still have my house stone, so I should be able to make flame ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Cool. This is what I really wanted. Cool, cool. Alright. I got the flame ring. Um, what else? I was trying to... Oh, that's right. I don't have the wood. Okay. So, I'm gonna also go get um, the wood from the sulfurous sea and see what weapon I can make out of that I think my volume is still like for me it's some of it's too loud
And I don't know why. It just it just is. I mean it's like the noise of the pylons are a little loud for me. Yeah, see how fast this goes? And also I've looks oh, by the way, also, I forgot to mention I was looking in the underground desert for like the this spawner. And I found a magic conch and um a luxury's gift. Um I just found them. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I have that, um, this is why. So I'm thinking, imagine this, how fast this goes. It does a base damage of 50. And <laughs> on top of that, it has projectiles moving fast. So I think this will be good for Skeletron. Especially since I think these melee projectiles pierce. So that will be even better. Alright. How much wood is that? I'll grab one more tree. Just be safe. Alright, cool. Alright, so... Pause it. Here and here we go. The toxic bow just five range damage, but its debuff should do a lot more than that. So we'll see. Um, but only works with normal arrows, it's also very fast. Uh, let me read. So, converts wooden arrows into slow arrows that inflict irradiated. So that irradiated right there the, is the debuff that does a lot of damage, supposedly, and makes this weapon overpowered. So, let me buy a lot of arrows and see if that's the case. Also, I got party bullets from, um, if you go to the party girl and you buy confetti and you break it, you can, uh, open up, uh, what's it called? You can open up those pieces of confetti and find party bullets. Oh, uh, let me see. I can use the wand of space to build the Skeletron arena pretty fast so I'm gonna see what materials I have and try to build that real quick Raceables. if not I'll just buy some from the uh, architecture NPC yeah I know this can turn into platforms now. Okay. I'm gonna buy more because I do think I'm gonna need a lot of platforms. Building blocks. Here we go. Now let's convert all this to platforms, and we should have like 2,000, 200, and 2,300 maybe platforms. Um, and then, yeah. Or do you want to attempt Queen Bee first, just for fun? Yeah, so stone turns into platforms too. Cool. 
All right. Yeah, so I'm going to need to like, sleep in a bed to skip time because I know I don't have enough time to do the platform and Skeletron. I do want to like continue this platform all the way to here. I'm going to start from here so I have it lined up. Or maybe I can go here and build the arena this way to the ocean. I'll do that. Because then I don't have to use as much platforms just going in one straight line. Uh, I'm not jumping aside for some reason. I don't think. Uh, I don't have frog legs, so that's why. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get frog legs again from my uh, chests, inventory, and all that. Alright. Just hold this and bring it all the way over. That's so satisfying just to see this entire platform just be instantly built. It just makes me happy, I guess. Uh, I'm also going to build some platforms in between these. So I don't have to worry about all that. So I like not being debuffed, you know? I'm trying to think of how much I should space this out. Like, should I go up a little bit? Like, here? Yeah. I also love this item, the Wand of Space, because you don't have to build up first with platforms and then go to the side. You can just straight up choose anywhere in this, like, in midair, and then use it yeah, like that. It's, it's very cool. Okay. Um,. I'm trying to space this out on my mini map. So one, two, down here. I'm trying to guess. It's like here. Hope this is the right size. All right. I think this would be a decent. Aquatic Scourge Arena too, and if I do decide to extend it out over the snow biome, then it will be a good Cryogen Arena at the same time. So I'm gonna be doing two things at once, getting these arenas done. I also wanted to record myself using the Wanda Space just to show off how cool it is. So I think it's, I just think it's really cool. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's amazing. Also, yeah, I got the, um, what is it called? A slime mount from farming Queen Slime off camera too. I might not need to fish for, um, Terra Spark boots because I think one of the NPCs sells um, some parts of it later. So I could just buy some of those so I don't have the fish for them. Alright. You know, I'm going to test out my DPS right now against Skeletron and just see what I do. Because I don't think I can beat him in the night. Um, or tonight, I mean. But I will try. So where's the old man? Come on. Come on, run, 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 run. 
get out. There we go. Okay. That teleport, like, saved me. Yeah, this is doing pretty decent against his hands. Now let me try this. How strong is this debuff? Okay, well, I died before I could see, but... Um, the flame ring did do good damage. So that is a good optional weapon. I am tempted to still use the malaise yo-yo. Um... Because of its debuff. Because I know it's... <laughs> people don't use it for Skeletron, but I think it's still decent. Also, these are going to be like my four main weapons to choose from right now. Unless I mine Aerial Light, which I forgot I could do. <laughs> like I just realized I could get that. But before I do that, I do want to come back and extend some of the Serena. But I just changed my mind, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, I need a Spelunker, please. I'm going to go mine... Oh, where's my gold? Did I drop it? Alright, I got some. Yeah, right now I'm going to go mine some Aerial Light Ore. And... See what I can make with that. Okay. Also, I did change some NPCs down here in, um, at this pylon because I wanted to use the nurse and the arm stealer. Like, his love for her to help me buy a pylon in the stone biome. So that's why um, those other two are down there instead of the arm sealer and nurse. Okay, where's aerial light? I don't see any for some reason right now. Alright, there there's some. Yeah, I think they I think it's because of the depth level or something. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put this here. This is a weird question, but if you had the power to, like, of an actual character in Terraria where you could just run around, kill stuff whenever, what would you do? Like, how would you use that? Because there's still everyday life to consider, like work. You know, you have friends and relationships, so it's like, would an everyday person? ever actually use that power for anything it's sort of like when people ask you what superpower would you want some people say you know they would want to be invincible or fly or whatever but i'm like if you're invincible like that seems more useful than being super strong because that just means you don't have the convenience of dying too early you know and I don't like being inconvenienced, even by the concept of dying early, because it's just inconvenient, you know? So I think I'd rather have the ability to not be killed, rather than being able to not... Rather than being super strong, because if you think about it, if a war ever breaks out, right? 
if you're super strong, you can still die by a bullet. But if you're invincible, you can charge up the front lot to the front lines, and not no one can do anything about it. Like you're just gonna be there. So <laughs> you can master any fighting skill and not have to worry about getting hurt. So you can be confident and how you in how you fight i don't know it's just very curious to me Yeah, my um, rage and my hooking button are the same. So if you see me pull off a rage out of nowhere for no good reason, that, that's why. That's right, and you also need this aerial light I'm grabbing for um, bundle of balloons. That's right. So if I grab the aerial light armor set, it negates fall damage. And then bundle of balloons, like I don't have to worry about having horseshoe balloon anyway. But even then, I still have the cal the unlimited calcium potions, which negate fall damage. So I might. This side, I might, I don't know, because Aerial Light melee armor has more damage output, but this Molten armor has more defense, so it just depends on how much damage I'm taking, whether I choose one or the other. Um, I can also buy a Sky Mill. Arrow slime, yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of good stuff I can get with this. My one of my favorite weapons of the aerial light arsenal is the plume spear. It's just it was very good for me when I fought um, Skeletron and death mode melee uh, like all my own because all, all my playthroughs before this were all my own like i didn't stream them or upload to youtube except for one of my hardcore ones i was streaming that but i just haven't finished that yet but the thing is like my, my twitch name and my youtube name are different so that's a problem i need to switch one of them to one or the other. So I'm not sure I'm good yet. I considered YouTube because it just started like a couple days ago. Putting stuff out. So I don't know. Oh wait, I need to buy... Advanced furniture. The Sky Mill. Yes. And... I can buy sun plates from him too. Yeah. So I don't have to go back into the sky for anything. Let's grab some of this. And I should have cloud already in my um, magic storage. I remember grabbing that. Okay. And let me. Do I want to dump all this? Yes. Now uh, let me type in it. Bars. Air. No. Here we go. Aerial light bars. I pull 69. Nice, nice, nice. Okay.
Now. Is it AE? Yeah. So I can make the armor set. What about bows and stuff? And so there's a yo yo here. Um. The only reason I'd want to use this yo yo is because I'm curious about it. Not sure that would work. Also, couldn't I put Let me show you guys. Okay. So can I just grab this and put it in the crafting station, the code breaker? So I know I'm going to need to build on it soon, but I don't, because I don't, ah, da, da, sorry. I can't put all the parts on it while it's in here, I don't think. Um, let me look at weapons, melee. Um, I might grab the yo-yo for fun, but let's see. Ranged. Oh yeah, this is Gale Force. That's the weapon I was looking for. <laughs> its damage is so low. Why? I don't understand that. Like, this is 36. 9. Why? I don't get that. Does the game want me to do melee or something? Um, well, I do know that... What is it? One of these... This is good damage. The gold plume spear. This is one of my favorite weapons, so... I... I want to look at the armor set first. Uh, should I grab it? Yeah, I think I have enough materials for it. Wait, first I want to make bundle of balloons. Um... I need a balloon for that though, so let me. I'm gonna craft this because I know it's a good weapon. And let me think. I think sandstorm in a bottle. Balloon. Yeah, craft a balloon. I should I remember? Because I used one sandstorm balloon to make this. So I need sandstorm in a bottle. So I need a bottle. I need to see if I have a bottle in here first. I only have water bottles. So that might be it. And I have enough desert feathers in this, so I need regular sand. Hold on. Any more just sand. And then I can make regular bottle and then combine that into a sandstorm in a bottle. Alright, let me see if I can make it now. Uh, bottles. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Sandstorm in a bottle. 
Uh, I wish I didn't pick that up. So it, since I picked up that, I now I have to go back to here. And then place it in. Then come back to here. Um, okay. Sandstorm balloon. Do I need to make more balloons? Anyway. So I have the sandstorm balloon. I think I have the materials for the other bottle, so I just didn't make them. Yeah, so I can make this. Then the balloon. Since blizzard balloon. Now what about the cloud in the bottle? I need to check because I don't know if I have the stuff for it. So some bottles. So I need cloud and what else? Might not have enough cloud or something. Uh, yeah. No, I, I grabbed the wrong thing. Let me grab bottles again. Cloud. This should tell me. Okay. So I need three more clouds. Okay. I can buy some from him, I think. I think it's filler blocks. Yeah. And then I'm going to buy a lot more just in case I need some more stuff for the armor. So let me pause it, all that. Add in a bottle. Craft. Add in a balloon. Craft. Bundle of balloons. Yes, please. <sighs> Cool. Alright. Now we have so much more speed. And if I go grab my frog legs, it will be even crazier. So I think maybe for the fight with Skeletron, it's don't try to do don't max out your accessories for damage, but instead max them out for uh, movement speed. That's what I'm thinking. Here we go. Now where do I want this? Most of my accessories are just based on movement speed, so if I take this out, the Luxor's Gift. Then all my accessories are based on movement speed, and like, that's it. Which I think is a good thing. Like, look how high we can go. That's ridiculous. And if I get aerial light armor, I can fall faster too, so I might grab that. Um, I don't, I might have ran out of materials making the bundle of balloons. Well, 
body piece. Uh, legs. And craft one. So I'm going to craft the helmet because it has the most defense. Okay, so got 35 defense, 64 damage, 30 defense, 57 damage, 57, 64. So on my damage and my defense is reduced, but I fall faster. So I fall more quickly, which if I'm going for movement, I can just max out movement, then that's very important. So if that fall, if that extra fall damage does not end up helping me, I'm just going to go back to Molten Armor. Because either way, if I, if I try to use one of these ranged weapons instead, my melee damage doesn't matter because I'm not using melee damage. I'm using ranged damage. So there's that. Okay, let me go here and try and take on Queen Bee. I might use Dexter's Gift because of its bouncing ability. But uh, if I do that, I'm going to do that on one of my other attempts if I fail this one. Uh, where's my imp staff? I put it away. I don't need imp staff, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, hopefully my Crimson Rod deals with her uh, B minions decent, decently. So much damage I was taking. Let me try this. Yeah, I need imp stuff. So, I think I might have deposited it in here. Where'd it go? Like, I didn't deposit. Where would it be? Yeah, that that concerns me. I'm just gonna make another one. Oh, I was it what? Because that's the same reforge I had. So I was wondering if this is the same item. I don't know, man. It's anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna try this again. But with the Crimson Rod this time. Here. Maybe the Eviscerator? 70 base damage. This debuff might be nerfed, so I might not be using this. Um, but I'm gonna try choosing one of these three. Oh, 
some spear. Let's see how you do. I think the glow plume spear pierces, so I think that will be good for her minions. And the fact that it's moving slow also helps because it's gonna stay on her, and each feather projectile is gonna hit more than once. Yeah, I do need to. I'm gonna make this arena bigger because I can't dodge in this. It's just not big enough. It's not working. Um, yeah, I wish it did work, but no, I want to give it one more go, but instead I'm going to use the Eviscerator. And where's my other summon? Where's the Cinder Blossom Staff? Where did it Whatever, I can't find my other summon. I'm wondering if the boomerang would be good because because it moves fast and the boomerang projectiles like bounce that might be good for to, for doing with the bees because I think what's really getting me are the bees and I got the wrong arrows too Might be no, I'm just gonna wear this because this is probably better than arrow spec, honestly. I'm gonna try to use this and the boomerang. Where did my staff go? Where are my items going? Am I throwing them away? I don't want to craft it again. You know what? I don't care enough to look into it. It's not worth it. Yeah, I'm being quiet because I'm trying to focus. Ooh, boy. It's fast. I have one idea. And that's to make... To hammer the platforms to where I can fall through them. Yeah. I think Scott's trying to be easier. Let me, if I did this, I have all movement accessories. 
and yeah welcome speed I have so many weapon options that I'm not sure which one to choose You won't also be able to like manually spawn in Skeletron because it'll be easier for me to try and figure out which weapon options are better over others. Sixteen up. Yeah, I think the spear might do more damage because yes, yeah, so I'm gonna try the spear. Yeah, I think my spear with imps will be the best option for Skeletron. Um, I do want to move him with the old man. Hold on, let me... Where would my pickaxe go? No? Okay, you're annoying. I'm trying to trap him. Oh man. Stop. Seriously, stop. You are annoying. I need to trap the old man because he's very. He's a pain. And. Uh, you know what? I, I might just have to build the arena out this way because. It's taking. The hard. I think the thing that's getting me a lot is the beginning of the fight because he's spawning. On top of me because I'm trying to move the old man. All right, so let me go here. I'm gonna do my original. What my original plan was and just build out from this platform across. Alright. I wonder if the Shadow Flame to debuff will be would deal good damage on Skeletron because the Malaise yo-yo helped me a lot. I'm like, well, what if it could help me again? You know, just one last bra, you know. Alright, so down to here. How high should the other platform be? Maybe here? Maybe? Is that too high? Eh. Don't worry about it. 
I'm just gonna build it out anyway. I'm actually gonna need to break that sky island above me because that is, um, it's gonna be trouble in the future. Also, I might need to take the magic luminescence off because I think it reduces my dash distance. So I took that off and replaced it with maybe the magic luminescence and replaced it with maybe I don't know, maybe. Luxury's gift, because that's like an all-around decent accessory. Just run up here. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna cancel that. I like the cancel feature a lot too. I think that's helpful. Alright. So let me try this again. I'm gonna break the top of the dungeon off so I'm not stuck. another okay well I'm gonna need to break that too I need to bomb it out of the sky no, that's not good okay or maybe I can just try to avoid this and try to go to the left that's another idea Recording for like an hour, so break the top of this. I'm I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna buy infinite smoker potions to replace my magic luminescence and. Take the magic luminescence off so I can have a further dash because it because I know at 1.4 I've tested it. So let me show you. I stand on this torch and I dash from here to there. Now watch this. I take this off. Okay. Okay, no. And I dash further. You can see the difference. Normally I would end up here and now I'm over here, but even that little bit is enough to make a difference. So I might 
switch that out for Luxor's Gift or Sharp Tooth Necklace or something. And grab some Hellstone bars to sell. Or treasure bags. Yeah, if I just open a lot of these, I can get money instantly from opening them alone. So we just. Yeah, there you go. And you just pause it all, deposit. There you go. So that's one way to get money, just keep depositing everything into the magic storage so you don't have to sort it out. Okay. Cool. Now I can take this off. And so on. Also, I'm I didn't have any potions, like good potions. So I got iron skin. Regen. I have some swiftness potions already. So I can make the rest of the swiftness potions that I need. <laughs> um, this in here. Movement speed, 12% increased movement speed. I don't know. I still want to use Aerospec as an option because it has the fall speed. Like, I'm so tempted to use it because the fall speed. You know? Um. Yeah. I have so much stuff in my inventory that I don't need. Like, I don't need this, this. I'm gonna fight that later. I could kill the Brain of Cthulhu for... Um... The Brain of Confusion. I might do that. And... I might fight him. So I'm gonna keep that. <coughs> now, hold on, let me see. Do I have... I don't know how many potions I have on, like, already. So, that many. How many can I craft to? Yeah. Uh, none? Thought I had. Eh, nah, well, it's fine. I'll just drink this before I start the fight. So I'm gonna uh, try uh, the Brain of Cthulhu right now. See how that goes.
Like, I hate when it teleports on top of you and you can't do anything about it, you just have to die. Yeah, uh, like that. Yeah, I don't remember how to dodge this. I dodged at him, so why did he... I'm supposed to bounce back because the damage. I'm not gonna stop unt until I actually kill a boss. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with this either. Cancel. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Trying to think, like, is I might use Gale Force, because even though it says like its damage is low, there might be like a unique thing about it that makes it good anyway. Well, it shoots fast. Um, Yeah. So this might be good for Skeletron, maybe. <laughs> um. Might be good for Queen B. Honestly. Let's see if I have bombs in here. Um. Yeah, I do, okay. So I forgot this is a thing. <laughs> so I can use this to uh, help myself survive. I think if I mix it with the worm scarf, it's good. Oh, I grabbed those bombs so I can make a bigger arena for Queen Bee. Yeah, let me see how this bow works against... Mary Cthulhu. So I think it has low damage because if it's high speed, like that's why they justified making its damage low so it can be balanced, I guess, in quotes, with the other bows.
think having a large spread will help with me dealing with the brain of Cthulhu because if I think if I mistake one of the brains for another one, I might still hit the right one anyway. Yeah, I'm doing that until I win. Like, I don't care. I'm winning. And that's, and that's that. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this raid might be good too. It's slow though. I need something that is fast like this, but... I should have had the cloud on, I didn't have the rain cloud on. I need to be more in the center here so I can fall through platforms more too. Okay. Plume Spear might be better for the end of the second phase. Let me try this out again. I'm hoping the creepers take the Burning Blood debuff. Hoping the knockback from these um, Hellfire arrows helps the creepers not hit me. Like when I say the perforators are easier, this is what I mean. The brain of Cthulhu spawns on you and it's not based on skill. That part of it's not based on skill. Like there needs to be a range to where like it doesn't spawn on top of you. Like, it can spawn near you, but just not on top of you. This is that predictive AI? Can't tell. I'm just guessing. Oh, okay, there we go. So the glow, gold plume spear did him off. Okay, cool. All right, so it beat a boss. Cool. 
I don't even want to put the relic up because I'm like, <laughs> like really, it just doesn't feel. I don't feel very satisfied. Um, they confuse enemies. Um. Yeah, I don't. I wish it was based on RNG and it wasn't like. Eh, I don't know. I, I might use this. Maybe. Um, I do want to see what the new stuff this guy's selling. It might just be potions, but. Yeah, it's just potions. I think one of these guys will sell the worm scarf. Get which one though. Um, I'm thinking maybe the dryad would, but she's in the jungle. So let me go to her. Yeah. Okay. And the operator is the one I need for um. I forget what it's called. Treasure bags to buy more if I want to do that. So let me take this. Because if I have damage reduction, I want that to be constant. I don't want damage reduction to... I don't want like a dodge to be like something I have to wait for or be random. I want like consistency with damage reduction. I mean it's like constant damage reduction, that's what I mean. Alright. Pause it all. Yeah, I have the. Let me. I thought I could make the bloody worm scar. It might be hard mode, but I don't remember. Let me go to the guide and check again. Yeah, that's hard mode, okay. Eh. Okay. So if I fight Skull Shrine, what will I use? I will use... This, maybe for, for defense, survivability. Um, I have six. Uh, yeah, how many potions can I buy? One. So I need. Ten more. Okay. Oh. I have high defense, high damage with melee weapons. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna try Skeletron fight again. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna. I am gonna sleep, but I'm going to first break the top off the dungeon, like I said I would. Uh, we saw. Him. Oh, black ones, cool. That might be useful. Yeah, I think mal some malice mode stuff changed. Like some bosses, their um, or some projectile speeds were altered. 
so um they don't go like 10 mile like 50 miles an hour cuz i remember when fighting um Desert Scourge for the first time in mouse mode was first introduced that the projectile speed was too fast for me like I couldn't dot I had to skip him to progress to the game because if I didn't I would not be able to beat the game so right now I'm on mouse mode yarn still because I haven't continued attempts because I've been messing around with this um Let me break off some of this. I just want to break off enough to where I can... Wait, I have an idea. Oh, never mind. I was going to use the wand of space to... Um, break these blocks. Like I it's just instantly like whoosh, facing a platform. So I don't have to dig them. Potions, got my accessories. I see a dodge better. I may attempt to use the malaise. We'll see. Molten Fury is pretty good. I mean, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> What's the estimated DPS on all these? So the estimated DPS on these are higher than like this and the Malays. The Malays in this have the same estimated DPS, but it it's a separate mod estimating it for you. It doesn't even take into account like specific situations, you know. I wonder how Slime God's gonna be. I remember he wasn't that hard on Malice Mid actually. But they might have changed that. about like synergy different synergies I could try to use I do want if I farm the Icathula a lot get a lot of unholy arrows because those are really good because they pierce so I could use the piercing ability of unholy arrows to pierce Skeletron's hands and use the Molten Fury it's high base damage with that so high base damage piercing ability but this this is pierce but I might just go with the gold plume and then imps try that
Also, I need to find an aglet, because I can't craft one for some reason, but the wiki says I can. So I wanted to craft the um, lightning boots. So I think that's something that's making my movement speed not as high as it should be. Uh, give me away, please. I want to get away. Yeah, I'm just hoping that these uh, feathers hit the hands. I'm trying to aim, but it's hard to. Oh, it makes you not use weapons. Oh, I didn't know that. And yeah, there's a little debuff icon where it gives you the curse debuff and you can't use your item. I didn't notice that. That's cool. Yeah, I think the feathers pierce. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, you can see I do zero damage to the head. Because the hands aren't beat yet. Alright, the skull should start flying. Oh no, he has another hand still. This is one of my favorite bosses, just in the game in general. I don't know why though, he's just really cool to me. thinking maybe I could no that's not good I was thinking maybe transfer to this but this is still better because it has multiple ejectiles at once and it's faster so that's still gonna have more DPS um, let me try that again I might no I am gonna quit this because I do wanna see how it does. I'm just curious. Oh, where's the old I thought the old man respawned if he died. I might have to edit this video because like find a mod to where I can spawn a Skeletron whenever I want, because I need to put in attempts. So if I don't put in, like, quick attempts, it's not gonna go quick. And I'm not gonna have a video that's, like, super long of just me sleeping and waiting, so... Okay, I'm gonna... How about this? I have a plan. So while I'm waiting for the next day to happen, I'm going to blow up more of the underground jungle. And try to make a bigger arena for Queen Bee. So I'm still doing something productive. Also, I want my Molten... What do I want?
meteorite. So I'm gonna start from here and start going up from here. make this a lot wider. I did not eat today, and it's 3.38, so that's not I hope this is long enough. Because I didn't want to make it too big in the first place because I didn't want a ton of enemies spawning in before the boss fight starts. That. Because they're just pests. Not something I like to deal with. I was gonna make this bigger anyway in the future, but I was I was gonna wait, you know, in the future. I didn't want to do that now. I wonder if I can make a Zen potion. So if I can, that would be very... Oh. 
Okay. Go back over here. One, two, three, four, six. I know this teal mushroom will be helpful for making um, more health later in the future. All right, now. <sighs> I'm just gonna spawn Queen Bee because I don't want to wait. I don't really care about waiting. Conscious man. Yeah, I can use him for pylons or something.
Yeah, right there I was hoping I could fall down the platform or something and avoid his attack, but this is super fast. Alright, again. So this time, I'll use the Crimson Rod and test out Gale Force. See what these weapons do. I'm hoping if I stay in the middle right here, that when Queen Bee starts to dash, I can fall faster because there'll be no platforms in my way. Like that. Like, I want to do what I'm doing with Queen Bee with Skull Strong, where I can just spawn in again quickly. But that's difficult, I guess. Dang it, dang it. Yeah, so if I lose, there's a bright side. We're doing more damage. Back on the bright side. Oh, man, that's so stressful. That is so stressful. That is incredibly stressful. <laughs> now this is a trophy I'm pr I'm proud to put up. The Queen Bee one, because... Reign of Cthulhu is... Sternalized uh, attacks I'm not a big fan of. I don't think I need bottled honey. Um... I don't think it dropped anything on. Oh, it dropped the lore. As crude as the giant insects are, they can prove useful in certain situations, given the ability to control them. 
I think this is alluding to Plague Bringer Goliath when he becomes mechanized or one of these Queen Bees becomes mechanized and infected with a plague. I think that might be what it's referencing. But either way, I'm going home. I want to see what Queen Bee drops. So, open this up. Bees knees, yes. That is something I wanted for a future crafting recipe. Um, I do want to actually try this against Skeletron as well. Or the Hive Pack. That's good. Um, I don't need this. I'm just going to deposit it all. So, that. I want to see if I can make the bee armor. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Wait, what about the hornet staff? Can I make the hornet staff? I don't know if that's good, though. There's a lot of different vari variations of weapons I do want to try out. Warrant staff. Um, you know, I'm just gonna make the B armor. Part of it, I guess. I'm going to try to craft the whole set and increase my minions by three. Yeah, maybe by four. And then on top of that, I have a summoning potion. So I think I can have like four minions with just the armor and then five with the potion. And if I guess that bonus, maybe six. So I can have five minions, like five imp staffs or something like that. All those shooting at Skeletron, while that's happening, I can maybe use B's knees. Because if I do a ranged weapon, I, I was thinking about using a melee armor anyway. So my, um, my damage output will not be increased whether I switch between summoner or what is it called? Or melee armor sets, yeah. Okay, so grab this. I'm going to deposit my money. And on the next recording, I'm going to farm Queen Bee at the start. And then after that, I'm going to try to test out some weapons on Skeletron, see what works, see what doesn't. And go from there. <laughs> Let's figure it out, find something to do. I could try to fight the Slime God first, so I might do that. I'm gonna tr maybe try to build more arenas in between episodes and have those in preparation for mechanical bosses, hard mode bosses, um, the Slime God. Because I might do Slime God first before Skeletron just to see if I can do that and make it easier on myself to attack Skeletron. And then choose from the Abyssal weapons I get from the Shadow Key I unlock from Skeletron. To see if those are better or if the weapons I get from the Sun God himself are better against the Wall of Flesh. And yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to remember that. Right now I need to eat before my dad gets home. Because I want to eat before dinner. So I'll see you guys later. And have a great 
day. <laughs>